Welcome back, everyone. Toishes here, and it is that time of the year once again. New York Comic Con is upon us, kicking it off October 17th through the 20th, taking place at the Javits Center, smack dab in New York City. And I will be live on the con floor, bringing you all the latest and greatest toy and pop culture news coverage. And I invite you all to tune in. It's going to be a fantastic time. And not only that, I've teamed up with Entertainment Earth, and we're going to be doing some awesome giveaways on top of it. So definitely look forward to that. I promise you, it's going to be a blast. But we're not here to talk about New York Comic Con today per se. Nay, we have CollectorCon of the Walmart variety, and we're going to talk about a dozen or more new merch items that you can grab when the Walmart CollectorCon takes place starting October 17th at 7 a.m. Pacific. 10 a.m. East, which I'm lucky this time around I'll be on the East Coast, so I get a little bit of a later start. But do keep in mind, one, there will be more things offered than what we are talking about. We're going to only be covering the sneak peeks that they've already offered on their site. We'll go into detail. We'll talk about prices. We'll get you the links. All links, as always, will be down in my descriptions below. They're even available right now as we speak. I will add more as they add more merch. But as of this recording, this is what's available. So I'll make it really easy peasy for you. But yes, this October 17th, coming up real fast, 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. East. That's when everything will be available. And I'll ask you, help your fellow collectors. You know this by now. If you've done this, this is not our first Walmart Collector Con by any means. Things do not always go up at the exact time. Sometimes they're late. Sometimes they're early. You got to be ready. But rest assured, like I said, all the links will be posted. New ones will be added. Together, we'll get you guys the figures that you are after. So let's kick this off. We're heading to the Weta Workshop for their mini epics, Beetlejuice and Lydia 2-pack. Now, these are statues. These aren't action figures per se. There's no articulation to them. Very detailed out, very poignant scene from the 1988 movie of which Beetlejuice tries to marry Lydia. Beetlejuice looks great. He's clad in his purple suit. Great detail. Not a whole heck of a lot of photos, unfortunately, to talk about for this video, but Lydia looks great. And I will say this, anybody making Beetlejuice out there, more Lydia. We want to see more and different characters overall. That'd be great. It's not just Beetlejuice. There's sandworms too, just sand. But keep in mind, these are eight inches tall and it does say batteries required, which I'd love to see what that really entails. How much are these, you say? The two pack will set you back 50 bucks. So if you want them, I'll have links down in the description below. I'm not going to say that for every single listing. You, you get it by now. Heading over into the Mattel side of things, I'm not going to embarrass myself with the, the whole wrestling thing. If you know my channel, wrestling just goes over my head. But there will be several WWE Elite collection offerings like Booker T, which comes with extra hands and his fancy schmancy belt. Then we also have the British Bulldog. There you go. <laughs> He's going to be part of a Build-A-Figure situation, and he's got some extra hands to him. All of them look pretty cool. Then you have Hardcore Hack. Of course, what a name. He's got some barbed wire. He, too, will come with some Golga Build-A-Figure pieces, extra hands, a little removable shirt. And then, of course, we'll have the Monday Night War Lex Luger action figure. Comes with a couple extra head portraits. You got the belt, the hands... You know the name of the game by now. Is that a towel that he kind of cleans his belt with? You can help me out. I'm perfectly happy to help me out as much as you can with wrestling. And no, I'm not ragging it by any means. It's just I don't know these characters. Whoa, I take it back. I know Kane. Kane, he's, he's, I got this one. He's also part of the Golga Build-A-Figure wave. He's got the head of Golga, of which I'm assuming because of the photo. Like, what? <laughs> Whatever that may be. And then Kane's got some extra hands. So... Yes, we got plenty of Mattel WWE offerings. Oh, thank God. Here's one that I can talk to you about for days. Now, from the Mattel Masters of the Universe, Turtles of Skull line, we have the King Hiss as a foot soldier action figure. Again, they're not really stacking up the photos too much, unfortunately, but you can essentially combine these two and make a King Hiss foot soldier, which is pretty interesting. The foot soldier... 
Even though, let's say, whether it's a robot or just a masked ninja thug, right? It's always very interesting. Very interested in this. It's always the way, right? Whenever they kind of build up the whole He-Man scenario, you always end with some snake men. So a King Hiss snake man foot soldier is a coming soon. And then, of course, you're going to have to combine the snake men with Shredder. Why wouldn't you? So this is the Turtles of Grayskull Deluxe Shredder action figure with tail. <laughs> That's literally what the description says. So you're going to be able to kind of swip swap parts and pieces, make your own snake men shredder. He comes with a big old staff and he's got armors for days and his tail has a big old snake spear on it. He's pretty cool looking. I will say that this one, I've been kind of picking and choosing with the Turtles of Grayskull. But if I see either of these, more so the Foot Soldier, I'll definitely be grabbing those. And then for the Masterverse, this is a really cool Skeletor from the Vintage Collection. Much like the He-Man that they released about a year, year and a half ago now, we have basically like the ultimate Skeletor. So he looks pretty cool. Extra hands. He's got his Havoc staff. He's got his sword. One half of the power sword if you want to go that route. But yes, he looks pretty cool. He's got the blues. He's got that yellowish green face with the Crazy red eyes, pretty cool looking Skeletor. And just to cover price wise, the Skeletor will set you back 22 bucks. Each of the Turtles of Grey Skull will be $25. And each of the WWE Monday Night War Elite Collections will set you back 23 bucks. While right now it says Lex Luger is listed at 33. So it's about a $10 difference. But just keep that in mind when a shopping with those links down below. Now, to head over to Blockies, which we're gonna be talking about quite a few Optimus Primes here, so just get ready. But Blockies are a bit of a, we'll say shortened version of your favorite characters. It's got a mechanical skeleton, super mobility, precise structure, and detailed restoration. It's basically a model kit. It says easy assembly, no tools needed. I have a friend who has one of these, and yeah, it looks like it's fairly easy to put together. It's kind of like a super deformed kind of Transformer Optimus Prime. It's not going to transform, just FYI. It's really just for posing. You got his energy axe. You got the gun. If anything, it's an interesting looking Optimus Prime. 45 movable joints help you shoot all the classic poses. They're kind of, they're aiming for you photographers out there. And then yes, you have different accessories options for the character. How much will this Blockies Optimus Prime set you back? You're looking at $35, which for a model kit, it's not too shabby. Is it for me? Yeah, not really. No, I, I think... I think I got enough Optimus Primes just in the last week or so, we'll just say. But it is definitely interesting. I'll give them that all day. Now, to head over to Moose Toys. This one may not excite a whole heck of a lot of you, but we're still going to cover it because I know some of you out there are interested, at least for the kiddos. This is the Mr. Beast Lab. Make your own Mr. Beast. <laughs> I'm sure for some of you out there, your kids love Mr. Beast, something like that. This will make a great Christmas gift. We'll see on that. But make your own Mr. Beast action figure for the first time ever with the Mr. Beast Lab Creation Station. So it's kind of like a Dr. Dreadful kind of situation, but now for Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast comes with three unique fillings. <laughs> That's an interesting way to phrase that. Use the creation station to fill Mr. Beast's body, stretch your Mr. Beast action figure. So he's also kind of like Stretch Armstrong. That's what it is. Dr. Dreadful meets Stretch Armstrong. There you go. Create again and again by emptying your action figure and refilling it. So this will set you back 25 bucks. Kids like the slime. Somebody you know likes the slime, the goo. Maybe they're a big fan of Mr. Beast. Kind of looks like he walked right out of Breaking Bad, to be honest with you. Like a whole Walter White's cooking up meth situation. So, yes, if you want the Make Your Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Lab, I'll put that link down in the description below as well. And now, to <laughs> this is a nice segue, Super 7. So, Super 7, yes, we all know that they've kind of made their way into Walmarts, Targets, and whatnot. They will be having a couple different figures to grab, if you so choose. For their G.I. Joe Ultimates, we have the Red Laser. So, he will come with, I mean, for one, it's a pretty cool looking figure. It's very eye-catching. Kind of got the whole Pirates insignia on the top of his helmet. Several guns, several hands, a little... Red laser walkie-talkie looks like a binocular system. 
Pretty darn cool. Comes in that window box packaging with the slipcase cover. Of course, the G.I. Joe Ultimates are in that 7-inch scale. It's going to set you back 55 bucks if you want the G.I. Joe Ultimates red laser. And then over on the Transformers side of things for Super 7, this is one that I've heard about. I knew it was coming. Was very curious to see how it was going to go. This is, and no joke, I think it's, well, let's say this. Pretty interesting to get something like this. Don't know necessarily if it was executed all that great. This is the Transformers Reaction, so the three and three quarter inch line, the ARC playset. If I'm being honest, it's a, it looks like a base, right? You got the desert landscape of which the ARC crashes. And then you have a cardboard backdrop, which... Yes, that is very retro. Yes, that is very reaction. But man, I tell you, that photo is, that is super dull looking, unfortunately. Now, it comes with a Optimus Prime, of which it's very cartoony, and it comes with a Megatron, again, which is very cartoony, three and three quarter inch. You can also flip the backdrop. You got that really cool old school G1 box artwork. But to say it's a playset. It kind of just looks like a flat <laughs> desert landscape with a cardboard backdrop. And that's where I think that's the biggest disappointment. I would have loved to have seen something more in terms of a playset, maybe like a crashed arc and maybe there's a Teletran one, something like that. Because here's the unfortunateness of this. It's $75. And when I look at the photos, but 75 bucks for just the desert landscape, it's not really a play. You just kind of, it's, it's basically like a stand, right? You've got to put all your characters. Hopefully they can all stand on there. Nothing moves, nothing. It's just a display stand. It's a retro reaction display stand. It, it's not all that interesting. I love the idea of it. In fact, I would love if Hasbro did something like that, like a build a arc playset or have that be a HasLab or something like that. I think that would be really wild to kind of be able to display your Transformers in something like a whole, you know, Metroplex city, something like that. But for the price point this is at, this, this one is, is very like, man, I wanted to see what this was going to look like. And then it's like, oh yeah, that's, it's a little disappointing if you ask me. Moving on now to Jack Specific. We have their Sonic the Hedgehog Shadow Collector's Edition Deluxe Action Figure with Wings. I recently found out this was a thing, so just bear with me on this. I, I know who Shadow is, but I was not aware of his wings. Sonic the Hedgehog is one of the world's most iconic video game characters of all time, along with his friends Tails, Knuckles, Amy, and his rival Shadow. Sonic speeds around the planet to battle injustice and defeat his arch nemesis, the evil Dr. Eggman. This is a six inch scale Shadow the Hedgehog customizable figure. Says it on the box, it says it in the description, and it says that it's sure to be a hit with collectors and Sonic fans of all ages. Now, it comes with mix and match swappable pieces, including hands and posable wings to build your favorite shadow presentation. So you have a little bit of a base throne sort of dealio. You have the wings. Everything is separate to the figure. You could have just the figure. You could just have the base. You can just have the wings. And then it also says that it comes with hands, of which I don't see any in the box, but that's what it says. So... Hopefully, there are hands somewhere in there. Very interesting, very striking, very anime-ish for the whole Shadow the Hedgehog thing. So if you want this figure, this is going to set you back $50, which is quite surprising if you ask me. Now, I know it's going to be a larger scale, 6-inch, but with the wings and the base, 50 bucks. that's Jax. Jax is, I always tell when I do the videos, like on Mario and everything else like that. I love the Mario movie figures. They went a little bit more extreme, $20 figures. Jax, you have that sweet spot of 10 to $12 for figures. I know you like to do collector stuff from time to time. Don't go too crazy. 50 bucks for a Shadow of the Hedgehog. I know there's a lot of crazy Sonic the Hedgehog fans out there that are definitely going to grab this, but just keep that in mind. I'm just going to say, like, there's, there's a really good sweet spot for a lot of your figures, and your figures are great. I'm a huge fan of Jax Pacific, but no, this one is definitely not something for me. However... More than likely, even though I say, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't need a bunch of dolls. I got the talking evil crusty doll, which is just hilariously amazing. But we have the 16-inch tall King Kong Homer. It's a premium soft plush figure, molded detailed head. 
Obviously, this is from the Simpsons episode, The Treehouse of Horror, where Homer is King Kong. Yeah, they go they go to King Kong Island. They wish they went to Candy Apple Island, but that didn't work out. Even though it just it has the same thing with apes, but they're a lot smaller. <laughs> When he eats Smithers, God, that's the old Simpsons are great. If I'm being honest with you, Jack specific in the short amount of time that they've had the Simpsons license thus far have just been killing it. I love their five inch figures. I I got into them. It's the 2.5 inch characters with the place. It's amazing. It's so much fun to take photos. The talking Krusty doll, Moe's phone. That's what I want to see from The Simpsons. They're, again, like I say, with Jack Specific and their price points, there's a sweet spot to Simpsons toys. I don't want $55 Simpson toys. I want $10, $12, $15 at the most. You got the little mini figures, they're five bucks each. That's where I'm at with The Simpsons. Keep it simple. And I love what they're doing. And this King Kong Homer is hilarious. It's awesome. And to be honest with you, because of the scale of, let's say, the 2.5 inch, heck, even up to the 5 inch figures, this would work with your Simpsons Jack Specific collection because he's huge in the episode. So there you go. Yeah, probably will be grabbing it. I just talked myself into it live while doing this video. 30 bucks will set you back for the 16 inch tall King Kong Homer. If you want him, yeah. <laughs> That's that's pretty darn cool. They're really doing a great job with that line. Now, heading on over to McFarland Toys. A couple things to go over. First and foremost, there will be a McFarland Collector's Edition Walmart store exclusive in the form of Lightning Lad. You get basically two versions. You might be interested in getting two figures. You have the old school and the new school head portraits. The new school head portrait has swap out face plates, which is interesting. I like that they give you several options. So you might be getting two figures so you can have both versions of this character. He comes with lightning effects. He's got the stand, the collector card. You get the idea. But I like the idea that they're starting the Legion of Superheroes. And I hope that we see a whole heck of a lot more of these. Now, this will not be the only McFarlane Toys offering for this Walmart Collector Con. There will be others that will show up later, most likely on the day that the Collector Con starts. Again, I'll put all the links, everything else, and I will have separate videos for that discussing all of those, but I can tell you that there will be a signed gold label version of the McFarlane Hulk. So it'll be signed by Todd McFarlane, it'll be a little bit more expensive, but those are the ones that I can talk about right now. Everything else for some very, very cool stuff. Let's just say there's one in particular I'm very interested in, but uh, yeah, more on that later. But again, like I said, these won't be the only McFarlane offerings for the Walmart CollectorCon. Now, over at NECA Toys, as of this video's recordings, there is no sneak peeks for NECA Toys. From New York Comic Con on the 18th, they will be doing a live stream with these two knuckleheads right here, and they will be going over more of the products. Again, I will have separate videos, separate posts on everything they'll be showing. Nothing to talk about as of right now. But... Should be interesting. I'm definitely looking forward to what they got a coming. And then to kind of wrap things up, we have the offerings from Hasbro. Now, this is kind of funny. I did post links about a week or two ago for several of these. They went up a little bit early. They had no picture. People were able to order them. I had it confirmed, even though some people were like, well, how do we know what we're ordering? I'm like, well, keep in mind, always, I never post anything unless it's a for sure thing. I've had eight years to figure that out, so I have lessons learned very early in the whole Toysha's career, but... Yeah, these were kind of uh, available earlier. They sent a few out, but then they reserved them hopefully again so you could grab them starting on October 17th. So first and foremost, we have a two-pack for the Retro Series, the Autobot Ramhorn and the Insecticon Bombshell. So these will be die-cast. They are basically reissues of the old, old figures. Cassettes, Insecticons, Rhinos, Bugs... You get the idea. I don't have these. I do have the Rhino, but I don't have the Insecticon. That looks pretty darn cool. I love the old school look, and I love the old school packaging too. That just looks so, so cool. So if you are interested in this two-pack, it's going to set you back $35. And 
exactly what I talked about with having links being available early and they sent them out and then they kind of got rid of the links until Walmart Collecticon. Well, some of you out there got very lucky, but this is the 40th anniversary reissue of Optimus Prime. What makes this Optimus Prime so different, you ask? Well, he's more so the die-cast, original Optimus Prime, but the cartoon colors. You can see the yellows, the blues, the reds. He looks pretty cool. I like the design of the cab as well. You have the full transformation. You've got the hands, you got the guns, you got the inside. The cab has a roller, you got the gas nozzle. Everything is the same, but like I said, cartoon colors. You got the old school packaging, a little bit updated with the 40th anniversary logo, but this one will set you back $75 if you like. For those of you asking, is this that missing link Optimus Prime? No, this is the Hasbro original Optimus Prime. You probably had it reissued a million times. Now he's got the cartoon colors, 75 bucks if you want them. And then recently these kind of came out of nowhere, same dealio, they went up and then they stopped pre-ordering them. But these are going to be retro carded G1 inspired figures. So you kind of have the Netflix Bumblebee repackaged in a blister card. Pretty cool if you missed them for the whole Netflix show offering that they did at Walmart some years ago. The alt mode, the Volkswagen bug, the bot mode, looks pretty cool overall. And I say that, and I'm gonna tell you to look at the art on the card as we move on to Gears here, because Gears takes so much better advantage of that whole retro look. I like that they redid the head portrait as opposed to the Gears that they just put out fairly recently. They have the Bumblebee for the Studio Series, which I very much like, so I'm gonna be sticking with that one, but this Gears, the head portrait, and that's why I don't, no, I don't know why they didn't do Bumblebee like that either. I think they would have just gotten everybody's attention if they would have done that because I think it's such a wasted opportunity. Gears looks awesome. Bumblebee, he's kind of in that middle ground where it's like, yeah, I wish they would have done that. These are going to set you back $25 a piece. Again, retro carded, fully transformable, Transformers, Gears, and Bumblebee. And then finally, on the Marvel Legends end of things, we have... Quicksilver in his green costume. Of course, it couldn't be the blue one, could it? Hopefully, we get another reissue of that. I screwed up, I know, I didn't get the Magneto three pack, I'm still waiting for a, another blue Quicksilver. But green Quicksilver will be coming exclusively to Walmart on the retro card back. Comes with a pair of hands, that's it. Plenty of articulation, same articulation. Looks to be pinless overall, so that's nice for Marvel Legends, especially some of you collectors out there. You loves that, but I just wish it was the blue costume. That's on me, though. That That's 100% on me. Now, if you want yourself a green costume to Quicksilver, 25 bucks is what it's going to set you back. And like I said, as of this video, they have plenty of sneak peeks out there. They have Panini Select football trading cards. They have these Star Wars Micro Galaxy Ghost 15-inch vehicle, which we've talked about. They got Pokemon cards. They got Super Mario Yoshi Christmas ornaments. The whole nine yards. Mego is doing more figures as well. But there's really little to no photos except for Mego Hands of the Dragon. So if you want Mego, yeah, I'll definitely put those there as well. There's also the Mego Phoenix. It's not the Phoenix you're probably thinking of. It's the Atlas Comics Phoenix. But... Like I said, keep checking in. I'll keep updating all of the links so you'll have them plenty. You'll be ready to go. When? That's right, October 17th. This October 17th, 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. East. And it's all to celebrate New York Comic Con. Well-timed Walmart, I'll say that for sure. But as always, you've heard my thoughts on everything we're we'll talking about here, but I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Walmart CollectorCon. And like I said, stay tuned to all my New York Comic Con coverage. Look forward to my giveaways as well. I'll keep you all posted on that. And I very much appreciate you being here. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, we got one final big weekend coming for all our nerdisms out there. Should be a blast. And when it is, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.